Welcome back to the Georgetown Hoyas Rebuild. We are in year two and are looking to bounce back from a 5-24 season a year ago. This team is loaded with talent, so we should be competing in the Big East and even potentially for a spot in March Madness. Season two is officially underway soon as we take on Bellarmine in our first game. Here we are at the KFC Young Center taking on Bellarmine. Almost a turnover. Puts it up and in. What a shot. Hit number one inside. What a pass to Spears and Spears finishes it. Here we go with freshman Reg Hood. Find someone open in the corner for three. Bang! Good defense there. Oh, but another rebound. Bellarmine not going away just yet. And Spears for three. It's good. Offensive board again and slams it home. Swatted by freshman Red Hood. Three seconds to go. Wide open three. It's good. What a way to end the first half. Driving in. And he lays it up and in. He's in a pull up. No good. Great board by Heath. And he puts it up and in. Ooh, what a fadeaway. Murray for three. In and out. Good board by Heath again. He's going to take another Murray roll. And it's good this time. We're going to take a three and hit it. Great defense by Hood, but Bellarmine takes the lead. He pulls up for three, and it's good. We're going to have to shoot it if they want a chance to foul. And we hit a buzzer beater after the steal. We picked up our second win on the year against Radford, 79-85. Another close game. We get our third straight win to start of season 3-0 against Bethune Cookman. We decided to unlock level 1 for our practice gym. I hopped into another game against St. Joe's and they would strike first. We came nice right back and got swatted. We got the ball back, took a 3 and drilled it. We pushed up the court and got a nice slam dunk. Cap off the 9-0 run. But then they responded right back. Picked up an and one. Missed a three in the corner, but got the offensive rebound and put it back up and in. They found the open man and laid it up for two. He responded with a nice Hesed mid-range jumper. If they came right back and hit a jumper of their own, they missed the three, but they would not give up and finish the two. We drilled the three from the corner. They came back, hit a mid-range. We drove in and slammed it home. And their effort was not enough, and we were able to pick up a win against St. Joe's. After those wins, we picked up two recruits and two-star small forward Gary Rucker and two-star point guard Leon McCall. We finally picked up our first loss on the year to Montana. While we did have a couple nice wins, we found ourselves getting destroyed by Georgia State. After a couple tough losses, we finally got another win against Robert Morris. Then we beat Sacramento State in a high-scoring shootout. I thought we had the win in the bag, but in the second half, Southeast Louisiana outscored us by 22 points. We finally won a game with a big margin of victory against St. Francis. We picked up a big win in a close battle against Power 5 opponent, California. We got absolutely destroyed by East Tennessee State to end non-conference play and head into conference play. Heading into conference play, we are 12 and 4. This really surprised me because this is more than double the amount of wins we had all of last year. To start off conference play, we got absolutely demolished by Seton Hall and Villanova. Then UConn decided to hop on the train and beat us by 45. I decided to hop in and play and try to get some revenge on the Pirates. I'm gonna hit the corner, dump it inside. Put it up and in. Brandon Murray takes Brandon a deep Murray takes jumper, a deep and, hits jumper and hits Seen it. Seton Hall drives in and Seen slams, slams it down. Slams it down. Good save. Fade away jumper and it's good. They get a put back. We find someone in the corner. It's Heath. And he drains the three. We're pushing up the court. Pulling up for three with Spears. It's good. We take the two point lead. Oh, they find someone down low. What a dish and slam. Spears pulls up for three. 
It's good. They drive it right back in. Dump it inside. What a pass. Puts it up and in. We were able to come in and get our first conference win and get revenge on the Seton Hall Pirates. It is rivalry week and we are here at home to take on our rival St. John's. St. John's attacks the rim, finishes and won. Primo Spears pulls out for three and it's good. They have a nice find inside and they tie this game up. They're gonna take a three, no good, in and out. They get the offensive rebound, put it up and in. Murray for three, it's good. Puts it up, banks it in. Jump hook for the freshman Red Hood. Deep mid range and it's good. They hit a mid range and this game seems to be out of hand. What a find inside. No good, we just can't hit anything. We were not able to pick up the win and we took a loss to our rival St. John's. We are now 13 and 10 after that loss to St. John's. However, we had a rematch against our rivals and we were able to pick up the win. At the end of conference play, we finished last in our conference at 3 and 10. We finished our season at 15 and 14. Time to head into the Big East tournament. In round one of the Big East tournament, we take on Butler. Get a screen from Hood, pull up for three, and it's good. Ball screen, pull up for three. And it's good again. This time it's Jay Heath. We're gonna pull up again from three and hit. We are three of three from three. How about another three? It's good, we just cannot miss from three. They dump it inside and finally score their first two of the game. Murray pushes it inside and he's fouled. And one! And they lay it up and in. Primo lays it up and in. What a drive. Oh, swatted. Takes it back and lays it up and one. At the buzzer. It's good! They're saying I got it off late. Regardless, what a first half as we are up 20 to 5. Oh, they finally hit a three. We absolutely clobbered Butler and we are headed to the next round of the Big East tournament. In the second round, we are taking on number 18, Marquette. Murray pulls up from mid-range and it's good. What a pump fake. Oh, and Hood slams it down. They come back and lay it up. Just like that, we are tied up at four. Laid up and in. 8-0 run for Marquette. Wide open for Murray. It's good. What a pass down the court to Primo. Jay Heath wide open, it's good. And wide open inside for the dunk. They're gonna pull up for three, and it's good. Jump hook and it's good. Heath is gonna take a deep three. It's good, what a shot. Lays it up and in. Puts it up and in, what a shot. Marquette lays it up and in, and that's your ball game. Marquette moves on. Wow, Xavier really made the tournament. And Michigan wins the tournament, defeating UConn. And in the NIT, Nevada beats Colgate to win it. Here we are signing our two recruits, three-star small forward Gary Rucker, and two-star point guard Leon McCall. We have two players graduating, Jay Heath, and Wayne Bristol Jr. and Nathan Gaines is transferring as a freshman. To finish off the season, we were able to sign two-star shooting guard Dan Bell. We will be registering our two freshmen, Leon McCall and Gary Rucker. That is the end of this episode. We finished the season 16 and 15, missing out on the tournament. Question is, will we be able to make March Madness in season three?